Good morning. Hey, Naomi, we're on. So you guys need to be coming over here, please. Hello. Okay, stop. Let's play some music while we wait. Can you get up so I can sit down? Man, short crowd this morning, huh? Where are all our friends at? Ruben, I need for you to get up. Thank you. No, no, no. It may just be the six kids. Although I can't hear Courtney because she's, you know, muted. What does the BPW stand for? So we have to mute it. What's the BPW stand for? Dragon Paul Welty. Oh. Aww. Well, it wouldn't be as confusing. So when you make somebody the host, you can make Welty the host so you can still see Bracken. Oh, I got you. Jesse, looking out for you. <laughs> All right. Well, I got Ruben. I really need to start. Yeah. All right. So I guess we're going to start. I don't know where all our friends are at this morning. Maybe they actually went to church. 
I don't know. Or maybe a lot of them forgot what day it was because we all tend to do that now. So yeah, I almost forgot what day it was too. <laughs> I did. That's okay. I'm not in school, so I'm not knowing what day it is. Normally we do like calendar or something in school. Yeah. Yeah, and you have your agenda. Yeah, your agenda. All right. Well, here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Please. All right. So, hi. I'm glad you all were able to make it this morning to your virtual jump. So, each week this summer, we're taking a closer look to find out what it means to have okay. faith. Yeah. Faith is trusting in what you can't see because of what you can see. <laughs> right? Even though we can't see God, we can put still put our faith and trust in Him, right? We trust God no matter what. We can focus on all the things God has done for us in the past, and we can also see what He's done in the lives of others. That helps us trust Him. So speaking of faith and trust. We've got a game we're going to do this morning. Do you all have your eye masks? Yeah. Mine. Or a blindfold? Yep. Mine. All right. Have all of you guys played Marco Polo before? Yeah. No. Ruben, of course, is there. Yeah. Bracken, have you? Yeah. yeah. Oh. All right. So you're going to go out somewhere in your room. Like, I need for you guys all to get up and go different spots in the room. All right. You guys will probably have to turn your screen around, uh, Gemma, Gentry, and Bracken, or maybe not. You could just talk to All right. So there you go. Mine are all spread around. Gemma, go, go somewhere. Go around. Well, when you get there. So, Ruben, since you're the only one that hasn't played Marco Polo before, you're going to, when I say, so you're going to pull out your mask. You're going to turn around three times, okay. and then I'm going to say Marco, and you guys are going to say Polo. Make sure you use your hand, please. I don't want y'all hurting yourself. <laughs> so here, I'm going to mute you, mute you. All right. So give me a thumbs up if you're ready. Gentry, get ready. All right. Yep. Just set it down. There you go. Make sure you're using your hands. Okay, Gemma, pull down your mask. Gentry, pull down your mask. Okay. So let's twirl around three times. One, two, three. All right. Pause. All right. Marco. 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 <laughs> Marco, find me, Gentry. Come over here to find me. Marco. Marco. There you go, Bracken. You're getting closer. Gentry and Gemma found me. Come on, Bracken. You can do it. There you go. Good job. You can lift up your mask. That was not that hard. Like over here. Usually when you do it in the pool, it's a lot more fun. Yeah. Oh, Rylan got me. I want to play again. Well, maybe we can play again um, later when we're not on Zoom. <laughs> yeah, it'd be fun if we were at a, in a pool. Well, you guys have siblings and parents, so maybe you can just... Thank you, Rylan. Maybe you guys can um, play a game at home, so... Um, just you just have to pull your black mask or your eye mask down and they just say Marco Polo. You normally you say polo. I needed you though, so I don't and know. Whenever if you, you hit the couch, it just falls. All right, so great job. It's not that easy to move around when you're wearing an eye mask, is it? Mm -hmm. All right. So the good thing that you could hear my voice and focus, right? All right. So when we have faith, it can change the way we see things too in the best possible way, which is why we are going to talk about that in our story. Well, when Bracken was feeling around, he restarted my computer. Oh, so that's why the other wealthy went off. So um, oh. just give me one second to log no in. <laughs> hey, you guys, tell me, uh, tell me what y'all been up to today. Or this week, whatever. 
Um, but my birthday is in five days. I mean, hey, how old are you going to be, nine? June 20th. June 20th. Aww. Tell them when we're going to Oh, she wants you to know next week on Zoom, we'll be in Gulf Shores. So, but we'll still be on Zoom. So, but happy early birthday. So, yeah, happy early birthday. what day does that fall on? Today is the 14th. It's going to be on Saturday. Saturday. Okay. Well, here, I got a song. I got this out for Jesse, Courtney. It's coming. I'm sorry, Nikki. No, it's fine. I got a song for the. Can you hear it? <laughs> it's for the story. I don't know if you can hear it. I can hear it. I think Rob turned down my volume. Okay, <laughs> so that kind of gives you a little hint about our story today. <laughs> it's coming. It's coming. Oh, I could play some more of that song if you want me to. Oh, yeah. I can hear it very well. This reminds me of a, this song when we first started driving to Gulf Shores. Rob sang it a bunch. Of course he did. So that Maggie could get on. That's why. Yeah, we were waiting for Maggie. That's, it. That's what it was, Maggie. Thanks. Don't pinch. Where's okay, Grant? is everybody ready for the story? Where's Grant at, Maggie? Yeah. You still in bed? <laughs> All right, I got pictures for your story, Courtney. Okay. Okay, so today's story begins with a man named Saul. But throughout his life, he was known by two different names, Saul or Paul. So as a young man, Saul was sent to Jerusalem to study with the famous rabbi, <clears throat> Nikki. Oh, <laughs> Gamila. I can't say it. Gamila. The rabbi Gamaliel. He was sent to Jerusalem to study with the famous rabbi. Okay. He learned about God and faith was very important to him. But Saul was like a lot of religious leaders at the time who didn't know what to do about Jesus. Jesus was changing the way everyone thought about God. And Saul and the other religious leaders were angry about it. They thought it was wrong for Jesus to claim that he was the son of God. After all, how could anyone say such a thing unless it was actually true? So at the beginning of our story, Saul made it his mission to stop people from following Jesus. So... That was Saul's whole mission, was to stop people from following Jesus. So, Saul was upset because the number of Jesus followers began to grow. People were saying that Jesus had come back to life. Some people were even saying that they had seen him. So, Saul was like, stop, stop, stop. He and all the other religious leaders did everything they could to squash the new movement. They even arrested a leader of the church named Stephen. Do you remember that really sad story we talked about last month when all the men threw stones at Stephen until he died? Saul was there that day. He stood by and held the coats of the men who threw the stones of Stephen. So he saw all that happen. Saul became known for hunting down people who believed in Jesus. He was constantly finding things wrong with people. It was kind of like he wanted to be a referee. He was like, you, stop doing that. You're going to jail. I told you to stop that. Bracken didn't think that was funny. So he tried as hard as he could to scare people and to stop the new church from growing. So when Saul discovered that some Jewish people in the town of Damascus were following Jesus, he went to the high priest Caiaphas. Saul asked Caiaphas for letters to the synagogues in the city of Damascus. Stop. That way he would have permission to arrest the leaders, to arrest the believers and take them back to Jerusalem. 
he was ready to stop these Jesus believers once and for all. So he traveled with a group of men to arrest all the believers that they found. After a whole bunch of days on the road, they were close to Damascus. So all these people were walking to Damascus, just ready to arrest all these people who believed that Jesus was the son of God. So suddenly a light from heaven flashed around Saul. He fell to the ground and he heard a voice saying this, Saul, Saul, why are you opposing me? Who are you, Lord? Saul asked. I am Jesus, he replied. I am the one you are opposing. Now get up and go into the city. There you will be told what you must do. So can you even imagine what that would have been like for Saul? He was traveling to Damascus for one reason, to arrest the Jesus followers. Now Jesus himself spoke to Saul right there on the road. The men who traveled with Saul were amazed too. They stood there unable to speak. Saul got up and he couldn't see. He was blind. The men led him by the hand into Damascus, where he stayed at the home of a man named Judas on Straight Street. For three days, Saul was blind. He didn't eat or drink anything for three whole days. Saul had come face to face with Jesus, a man he thought for sure was dead. This meant Jesus was very much alive. It meant Jesus really was who he said he was, the son of God. This moment changed everything for Saul. He was forced to see and understand God in a brand new way. It was like he changed teams. Until now, Saul wanted to stop the Jesus followers, but now Saul had become a Jesus follower. He realized that he had been wrong before, so now he had a new mission in life. Instead of trying to keep people from following Jesus, now he was going to join them. What was true for Saul is also true for us today. Knowing Jesus changes the way you see everything. So that's our bottom line for this month. Knowing Jesus changes the way you see everything. So let's pray. That was a short story today. Let's pray. Ready? Dear God, wow, you changed everything for Saul that day on the road to Damascus. He went from wanting to stop people from believing in Jesus to believing in Jesus himself. We know that when we put our faith in you, you change the way we see everything. Please help us to trust you and remember that you're with us through whatever we might be facing right now. We love you and we pray these things in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. So God opened Saul's eyes in a pretty big way, didn't he? I mean, Saul couldn't actually see after he met Jesus on that road. Not right away, anyway. So, but what was most important was that God helped Saul understand. When Jesus appeared to Saul on the road, Saul saw things in a completely new way. He understood that Jesus really is the Son of God. All throughout this history, this big story of God. Listen, buddy. All throughout this history and throughout the Bible, God has revealed himself to people and helped them understand what he is like. That was especially true when he went, sent Jesus. While Jesus was here, he showed people what God is like. He showed us how much God loves us by dying on the cross for our sins, for each one of us. He also showed how powerful he is by coming back to life. God used a blinding light to get Saul's attention. And God can get our attention too, right? He has during this whole coronavirus thing. So he does it in lots of different ways to get our attention. He can help us see things in a completely new way. So when you know Jesus, you can trust that he is working in each of your lives. When everything is going great, or even when things are not going the way you expect them. So knowing Jesus changes the way you see everything. That's what we're learning this week. So it all starts with us taking the time to focus on Jesus. When we take a closer look, we can see what he's doing in our lives and what he's doing in other people's lives too. So I bet you guys can think of some things that he has done in your lives, right? Sometimes you just got to stop and think about it. 
spot. Where? Where? So, Where? 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 so you got it on now. I'm gonna make you host. Cut. You guys got yeah. your extra devices Cut. for Kahoot. Cut. It's my yeah. Henry. Yeah. Last time I did it, wrong one, Nikki. Oh, I'm sorry. I got photos <laughs> of you. Did I? Not? Are you serious? Well, yeah, wealthy, not BPW, right? Well, well, well it's one that you did. Oh no, you're good. You're good. You're good. Yeah, you're host now. Sorry. <laughs> Come here, bud. You need to pay attention. Okay, there you go. And Grant's won the past couple of weeks, and there's no Grant today. So who's going to win today? Oh. Maggie, you think you're going to win today? <laughs> Hutch fam, who's in charge? Naomi. 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 Your turn. <laughs> Your turn. My turn. Your turn. Henry. Henry. Henry is my dog's name, so Jesse just joined as Henry. I kicked him out. Jesse. I kicked him out. Gentry and Gemma, are y'all okay? You coming? Yeah. Wow. Well, wow. Well. I spelled it wrong. <laughs> we know who it is. Okay, ready? Ready. As a young man, Saul was sent to where? Was he sent to Jerusalem, Tarsus, Bethlehem, or Galilee? Where was he sent as a young man? He was sent to Jerusalem is where he was yeah. sent. Remember to study with the rabbi. Ooh, that one got us. Two and two. Parker's in the lead. Saul was present. That means he was there for whose death? My turn. Whose death did Saul see? Remember it said he held the coats of the people. Yep. Stephen. Good job. Oh, Hutch fam. True or false? Saul became known for hunting people who believed in Jesus. Was that true or false? Yeah, good job. That was true. Hutch fam still in the lead. True or false? Saul went blind on the road to Damascus. I need some music in the background. I don't know why it's not playing. Good job. That was true. Wouldn't that be crazy? Just go blind for three days. Not eat or drink. Right. And not eat or drink anything for three days. Hutch fam. How many days was Saul blind? Was he blind for two days, three days, seven days, or something else? Yeah, three whole days. Of nothing to eat. That makes me hungry just thinking about it. Uh -huh. Hutch fam, still in the lead. Last one. What did Saul realize at the end of our story? He was a Jesus follower now. He had a new mission in life. He had been wrong before, or he wanted to join the new church. Which one did he? Yeah, all of those were right. He realized that he was a Jesus follower. He had a new mission now to help people know Jesus. Good job. In third place, Bracken. In second place, Maggie. In first place, Hutch fam. 
Much, fam. Good job. Good job. That's the second time we have gotten gotten in first. Right. Second time. Hey. Okay. All right, guys. Bye, guys. We'll see you next week, Bye. I guess. Bye. 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 I saw Rob on the TV a minute ago. Yeah. He's actually miss him. The mask on. Bye. Bye.